Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. That's right. It's Friday night in the big sky. We're going to start off tonight with a picture from uh, John Wilson. Take a look at this shot. This is something called Hidden Lake, but you know, if I stand here and you just look at it like that, it looks like you're on the surface of Mars, except it's got some water here, so obviously we're not on the surface of Mars, but still a cool looking shot, John. Thanks for sending that in. Let me show you another great shot from uh, Lynn Richardson. This was a sunrise this morning over by Powell with the train tracks in the foreground. And right now, here's the way things are shaping up in the Billings area. This is in the time lapse mode when we had some showers and thunderstorms move through earlier today. Uh, currently, it's 52 degrees. You see a couple of raindrops in the lens. Yeah, we had a little bit of light rain out of this thing. Now, as far as our high temp today, we topped out at 66. That's your normal high for this time of year. The record was 85. So back in 1940, and as far as precipitation, you know, stuff like you see falling out of there. We wound up with about three hundredths of an inch. Takes us to 09 for the month. Need to be at uh, 6,500, so we're a little bit behind normal there, but still ahead of normal for the year at 539. Only need to be at 433 to be caught up to average. And around the state right now, our current temperatures into the 40s and 50s out in the west. 50s along the high line until you get to Glasgow. And back here in eastern Montana, we're generally into the 40s. 52 in Billings right now. You see 40s and 50s in northern Wyoming. But take a look at our reported highs. Look at how hot it got out in the western part of the state. You see these 70s out here? They're slow going to work their way in towards eastern Montana tomorrow and out everyone else today actually got into the 60s except for Cody, Wyoming, and they were at 59 degrees today. Meanwhile, let's move on and show you that we do have some isolated thunder showers still expected across the region tonight. Let's check it out on the Doppler radar. We had a couple of bigger cells kind of moving through the jet stream continues to pour right down out of Canada and so it's the storms, individual cells are caught up on the jet stream and they continue to move from Haver all the way towards Sheridan tonight. Up in the Bighorn Mountains, there's some scattered snow showers with it as well. But here's the way it looks at the surface. Had that cold front push on through today. It will continue to push in towards the Dakotas and Nebraska by tomorrow. And then after it does that, it's going to take most of the moisture here early in the morning and push it into Wyoming. So we'll be looking at drying skies throughout the rest of the morning and also into the afternoon. Then by Saturday, Sunday, here comes another warm front moving through. Things will be warming back up into the 80s across much of eastern Montana. And so for tonight, we're looking at temperatures cooling back down to the 30s and 40s across the region. Maybe some scattered rain showers still possible tonight, especially in the southeast corner of the state. By tomorrow, we're back to the 50s, some low 60s, maybe 69 over at Hardin, 67 at Livingston. Mostly sunny skies should rule after the morning rain showers are through. Then after that, it'll be 46 degrees for the low tonight in Billings with mostly cloudy skies, still about a 40% chance for some additional rain showers. Then for the next seven days, it'll be 69 and sunny on Saturday, 81 on Sunday, Mother's Day, 81 on Monday. And then you'll notice we start rolling it back into the 70s and eventually to about 69 degrees by Friday. So it'll be a warm, dry pattern through Wednesday. But then after that, we get some thunderstorms moving in that night. And then we get returned to a kind of a cooler, wetter, thunderstormy, is that a word, thunderstormy type of pattern? That'll be moving in as we get into next Friday. Let's go back to the desk.